In the dynamic world of architecture and construction, accurate quantity takeoffs are paramount. They provide a foundation for cost estimation, resource allocation, and project planning. However, extracting and visualizing this data from Revit models can be a daunting task. That's where our tutorial comes in. 3DBI for Revit version 1.5 makes it easier than ever to create material takeoffs directly from Revit. One of the features of 3DBI is its ability to define contextual geometry. These elements, while not part of your core project and not requiring detailed data, significantly aid in spatial orientation. Common examples of contextual geometry include topography, roads, plots, and neighboring buildings. So in this tutorial, I'll first go and create a new 3D view and name it 3DBI context. In this new view, I'll only make those elements visible that are contextual elements. FreeDBI, when doing the actual export, um, will only export geometry and data of elements that are visible in the active 3D view. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the default 3D view and make only visible those elements that I want to be part of my actual building or actual business object. In essence, I'll create the opposite of what I did for the 3 dbi context view. Once both views have been configured properly, I'll proceed to open the 3 dbi exporting dialog. Within this dialog, I'll encounter several options. One of these options is the export context feature. As you can see, I've already checked it. Um, additionally, I'll enable the JSON single elements array option, which prompts 3DBI to export not only a 3DBI file, but also a JSON file containing pertinent data extracted from the Revit model. Once the export is complete, you should be able to find a 3DBI file, but also a JSON file containing all the data. Now that the export is complete, it's time to launch Power BI and get that data into Power BI. I'll start off with a blank Power BI report and use the JSON connector that shipped with uh, Power BI to connect with the JSON file that I just exported. When using the JSON connector, Power BI will apply a few default steps to the query. Now, I'll remove or I'll undo all these steps just to make sure that we start from scratch. Actually, what I will do is I will create three new queries um, that all reference the original query. And from there, I can, I can load in the separate tables um, that are available in the export. The first query that I will create is the objects query. So I'll reference the initial query and select the objects list. From there, I'll convert it to a table and expand all the columns. So you can select any column that you might need for your report, but just make sure that you also include the ID column. Next, I'll do the same, but this time for the materials list. You will notice that this list also contains uh, quite a few, quite some columns of which you can share pick, uh, containing various data fields um, available about, about each exported material. Finally, I'll create a third query um, that's based on the object material usages list. And basically what it does is it links both materials and objects together and it specifies how much of a material a specific object is using. Now, since there are a few numerical columns in here, I'll go and specify to Power BI that these uh, columns should be treated as decimals. Now that all the queries have been set up, I'll hit the close and apply button and let Power BI perform the actual import.
Now, before I proceed with visualizing any of that data in Power BI, I'll first need to set up a relationship between both the object material usages table and the material table and objects table. So that Power BI knows that through this object material usages table, both the materials and objects are related to each other. Power BI is a great tool to quickly visualize all kinds of data in charts and, and tables. But in order to bring this data really come to life, we will load in the 3 dbi custom visual. Now the custom visual is available directly from on App Source. It's also Microsoft certified and you can load it into your report by pressing the get more visuals button, then search for 3 dbi and, and download it directly into your report. Now that I've placed the instance of the 3 bi visual in my report, I'll link the objects.id field with the objects identifiers field of the visual. And finally, I'll insert the 3 bi model that we exported earlier uh, from Revit directly in the visual. And that's basically it. You can now click on any material in one of the other visuals and you will immediately see all the related 3D objects um, that, well, that have that have a relationship with that material. Or the other way around, you can click on one or multiple objects in the 3D model and immediately see which uh, materials are related to that element. Now, from here, you can bring it much further. Um, you can use this report to serve as a template for your future projects by replacing the 3D model and the original data. Or you can link in with other databases as well. For example, uh, unit prices or environmental impact databases. Um, basically, any type of information that you might have about, about your objects or your materials. You can link in that information into Power BI and then visualize all those related data fields as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.